Hello, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, April 25th. I honestly haven't picked up the camera to record like a vlog in so long. I've recorded a couple workouts, but I haven't recorded like an actual like talking clips or like really showed you guys much of anything. Since we moved here, things have just been chaotic and crazy, but I'm looking like a hot mess because I literally just got back from the gym. I just trained legs and did 20 minutes of cardio, but I did not record the workout. However, I have a back workout recorded from like two days ago that I will throw into this video. So you guys will see that after this and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna make for lunch. It is 12.08 right now, and so I figured I would do kind of like a full day of eating. However, I obviously did not share with you guys my breakfast, but I will let you guys know what I had. So I had Kodiak cakes with one serving of mini chocolate chips and three pieces of turkey bacon. That was like my pre-workout meal. Went to the gym, came back. Now I'm going to make some lunch, but I will let you guys see the workout, and then you'll see me back here for lunch. <laughs> So I just made up my lunch. I'm having corn and it's just some frozen corn. I heated up in the microwave and there's a 4.3 ounces of pork. I think I've shared this recipe with you guys before. It's like a balsamic pork. Anyways, we had some leftover from the other day. Um, I'll link the recipe below in case you're curious. It's super easy to make. So I just heated that up, mixed it up together, and then I put a tiny bit of this like butter on it. It's fat or like the macros are really good. It's 50 calories for one tablespoon, six fat, and zero carbs, zero protein. But I only used like literally a quarter. I just wanted like a tiny bit to put basically on the corn. And then I'm gonna have some barbecue sauce. This is the barbecue sauce I'm using. I got this at Ralph's. They also have it at Kroger. Um, it's 30 calories for two tablespoons. It's literally just eight carbs. And I put two tablespoons in here, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna use all of that. So you can kind of see like it's a lot. Um, and I wanted to dip I might just like dip some of the pork in this so I'm about to eat that but as I was making that up I did have one of these skinny like rice cake things I honestly hate this branding that's called skinny um but it's basically this like little rice cake like bar and what all is in it it's like nuts and almonds and blueberries it's pretty good macros are 70 calories too fat uh, 11 carbs and one protein. I found this at Marshall's. I've seen it at like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and like Home Goods sometimes even. So I wanted to share that since I'm going to do a full day of eating. Now I'm going to sit down and eat my meal. Okay, so it's only actually been like 10 minutes since I talked to you guys. I just ate that meal and it was so good. I was seriously so hungry and I still am. And since I always like to have something sweet after I eat, I'm gonna have a chocolate rice cake with some peanut butter and mini chocolate chips. I already plugged it into my fitness pal, which that's a tip if you are tracking pre-plan or like pre-track your food before you actually eat it so you know like the correct portion size. So I'm gonna do one chocolate rice cake, eight grams of peanut butter and half a serving of mini chocolate chips. 
and I'm so excited. And then I need to shower and like get myself like together for the day because I just look like a mess. And then I got to do a lot of client work. But let me show you guys this little snack. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm obsessed with chocolate rice cakes and peanut butter. It is so, so, so good. <laughs> getting what do you think a diet baja as you guys already know the line is so long we ordered on our phone so i have the taco bell app let me show you guys we ordered our little focus still need to get my phone fixed but uh yeah we ordered it on the app because you get points and we're at happy hour between 2 and 5 p.m you get one dollar baja blast for medium so we got two of them but uh, this line's quite long, and then we're gonna go to Target. Hi, how are you? Hey, good. We have a mobile order for Brio. For Brio? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I don't want green. Me either. I might just ask for Coke Zero. Pepsi Zero? Yeah. Are they coming out green? We'll take a Pepsi Zero, man, if that's the case. Thank you so I much. appreciate that. Have a good one. Thank you. We got Pepsi Zero because the Diet Baja Blast was coming out green. So we were like, uh, we'll take a Pepsi Zero. That had to be regular Mountain Dew. I think it was normal Mountain Dew. So, normal anyways, that was a little bit of a buzzkill, but Pepsi Zero still is super good. Here's your straw. So, all right, we're going to go to Target now. I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so we just got back from Target. I will share with you guys what we got. It really wasn't that big of a haul. I got a shower curtain since we have two showers that like need shower curtains. I already have one. I just got one like last week, but I don't know that I love it. So I'm gonna compare the two and I will see. And then dish cloths. We need like drying towels for dishes. These are the multivitamins I like. They're like the gummy ones and they taste really good and i like them dj got some drinks they are the body armor ones lights. the light you can come here and tell them what they are what are they exactly body armor lights but what is it is it just like coconut water stuff no it's i mean that's a flavor right there it's just like a hmm. flavored drink like a day or everything hmm. Truvia, this is the stuff I like to put in my coffee in the morning. Got some hair clips and some eye makeup remover. And then we got a outdoor rug that we're gonna put on like the patio. So I'll show you guys that once we lay it down. We still need to get patio furniture, but I think we're gonna make some food. Do you know what you're gonna have? I'm gonna look at my macros, see what I'm gonna have, and then I'll show you guys. We're going to make a macro-friendly BLT. I'm going to share with you guys the recipe, all the macros, all the ingredients you need. If you've been watching the previous videos, you saw that we went to Jersey Mike's during like our road trip. And ever since then, I've been like into BLTs. And I wanted to find like a way to make like a macro-friendly version. Also, Jersey Mike's is just extremely expensive. Literally, it costs us like what? Like $40? Huh? Like $40 for two big sandwiches? Yeah, they were like this big. But still, like way too expensive. So anyways, we are making our own. So I will show you guys what you need. All right, first up, you need a good bread. This is the bread that we're using. I got it at Ralph's. I'm sure you can find it at Kroger too. It's 210 calories for one roll, two fat, 40 carbs, seven protein. I'm only gonna have half a sandwich right now because I don't have a ton of carbs left and I wanna eat like some more carbs for dinner later. So I'm just gonna make half, but DJ's gonna have a full one. And then 
I'm not a big tomato person, so my BLT, the T is going to stand for turkey. DJ is going to have tomato on his, but he's also going to put turkey. But basically, this is what I asked at Jersey Mike's if they could add like turkey lunch meat to it just for it to be like higher in protein. So this is the turkey lunch meat that we we're using. It's from Costco. Literally any turkey lunch meat would do. This one has really good macros. It's 60 calories, one carb, 0.5 fat, 13 protein. And then we've got shredded lettuce. We have tomatoes that DJ is going to use. Pickles, light mayo. This is key because mayo, the calories add up so, so quickly. So light mayo. And then if you've been to like, you know, sub sandwich places, right? Like Subway or Jersey Mike's, you know that they have like oil and vinegar you put on a sandwich. So I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of red wine vinegar. This is what they use, like the combo. I think they also mix it with canola oil, but it doesn't really matter. Um, However, I'm not going to use any olive oil right now because I don't have a ton of fats left because I didn't necessarily plan to have this meal. Um, but that will work. I'm just going to put the red wine vinegar on it. And also, obviously, turkey bacon. Well, bacon in general. We're using turkey bacon. Um, we're just using one that's from Costco. So I already cooked that up. And the key is to let that cool down. You don't want the turkey bacon to be, like, hot when you put it on the sandwich. And also, you want to make it crispy, like, almost, like, burnt because that texture of like the crispiness of the bacon is really really good so we're letting it cool down and then we're gonna make up the sandwich and i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all together and then i'll share with you guys the macros okay so i toasted the bread this is just the half that i'm having i've got my turkey bacon over here that's all cooled off and just gonna start making it so i'm gonna do one serving of light mayo so what i'm gonna do is just put it on the scale zero it out and then now whatever i put on the sandwich is how much i've used which i think is 15 grams which i think one serving is a good amount that's only nine grams and it may seem like a lot of mayo but trust me it gives it like a sauce like you kind of need it especially since i'm not going to use the oil right now okay so now i'm going to put the turkey on it so i'm going to put that on the scale zero it out one serving is two ounces, but I don't think I'm going to put two ounces on this sandwich because I feel like it would overflow. So, let's see. That's one ounce. We'll do that. And then I'm going to break these in half just since I'm only doing half of a sandwich. Then I'm going to add some lettuce to it. Now I'm going to add a pickle. I think I'm gonna put two. All right, then I'm gonna use the red wine vinegar. And this has zero calories, so it's not like you need to weigh it out or anything. I don't track the pickles or the lettuce, they're basically zero calories. And then I'm gonna just top it with some salt and pepper. And there we go, we have the sandwich. It looks a little messy, but it's gonna be so good. Look at that. All right, so we're making coffee. Yes, it is 5.07 p.m., but uh, we still have some work to do, and uh, coffee just sounds really good. I honestly probably will only maybe even drink half a cup, but it sounds nice to sip on it while I'm doing some work. So, this is our new coffee maker we actually got because our old one was acting up, so we just didn't bring it with us and got a new one. But it takes a little while to, like, like heat up, so anyways, I'll show you guys what I'm putting in it when it's done. Right, so the coffee is done. This is our new San Diego mug we got. It felt pretty appropriate. So anyways, I just made the coffee and put some of this sugar-free, I was about to say vanilla, but this is coconut cream. We just found this one again. We hadn't found it at the grocery store here. But we just found it. And then I put true, that Truvia stuff in it as well and mix it up. And I'm gonna drink this and get to work. Okay, it's been several hours since I've talked to you guys. I've just been sitting here at my computer. This is kind of like a desk spot. So we have a two-bedroom apartment. And, like, in the way to, like, this is the master back here. There's, like, a little niche, like a desk niche. I don't know. I'll show you guys some other time because it's still kind of a mess in here. Um, but I have my computer all set up here. And I'm just, just working on some client plans. But I'm going to have a snack. So I wanted to show you guys and have one of these 
Drizzlelicious bags. Let's see if it'll focus. So it's 90 calories, three fat, 15 carbs, one protein. I've shared this with you guys in a previous vlog. I just get them on Amazon, so I will link them down below in case you're curious. Um, I bought a huge like 24 pack, so I've been loving them. Actually, I'll just open it up and show you guys kind of what they look like. But I don't think I did that last time. They're so basically these little like chocolatey like rice cakes. Let's see if this will focus. Maybe if I put my hand behind it, it'll focus. Or maybe it won't. Who knows? Okay, there we go. So little chocolate like covered rice cakes. And they are so bomb. So I'm gonna eat this, continue working, and then actually make like some food with some protein and stuff soon. All right, it is now 8.19 and I'm just made dinner. Um, it's really dark in here. We need to figure out this lighting situation. <laughs> you should come over and show them what you're doing. He's holding his potato on his fork. Yeah, why am I holding a potato? Because I heated up the potato for him. And? And now he's heating up his vegetables. And? I don't know. We don't have any plates. We don't have, we don't have shit. Yeah, so. okay, so we, we have, we only when kept these tomorrow. bowls. Okay, we only kept these bowls. Apparently there's only two minutes left of storage on my camera card, so we're gonna burn <laughs> this quick. But we kept these bowls and our other plates and stuff were chipped. So we ordered new plates because we were going to get plates and my mom was going to get it for us for Christmas. She still hasn't because we hadn't picked them out. Long story short, that's like the short version. So we're getting plates tomorrow. I'll show you guys because they're supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Anyways, let me show you my dinner before my camera cuts out. This does not look super appetizing and that just fell. But it is one turkey meatball and that's from Trader Joe's. Let me show you guys. One of these turkey meatballs. I was gonna have two, but I did not have the macros, the fat macros to have two. So I have one with egg whites because I need more protein and frozen vegetables all mixed up. Put some salt on it, some pink salt. And then I'm gonna eat this and then I have Power Crunch bar and popcorn left for the night because I pre-tracked it. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll show you guys that and then that'll probably be it for the video. All right, it is now at 10.15 and I'm calling it a night with some popcorn. This is the popcorn you guys have seen me talk about it a bajillion times, 100 calories, kettle corn flavor, and a Power Crunch bar. And we're probably gonna watch a show or something until we go to sleep. And that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,